Hey, what's up everyone? I am here today with yet another uh, first impression on a knife. It's actually a line of knives that's been around for quite some time. It's, but it's my first time getting one of the knives from this line. And this particular one is the CRKT Minimalist Cleaver design. I've been wanting to pick one of these up for a while. Um, I was thinking of maybe getting the Bowie design, but just, they had this one uh, available, so I thought I'd pick this up and give it a try. Um, this is, as you can tell, a fixed blade knife. has a pretty good uh, thickness, a full tang. Uh, scales are G10, very, very nice G10 scales, I, must, I might add to. Um, really like these, uh, these cutouts for the finger. And then there is some jimping right back there. Um, and it's in a pretty nice place, too. It's a, this is a really, really good utility knife. Uh, seems pretty good. Uh, now, the materials, uh, we have G10 here for the handle. Uh, and we have uh, 5CR15 MOV steel, which I'm not really familiar with. But uh, I'm thinking that 8CR... HCR 13 MOV is, is a pretty much lower grade steel, and uh, 3 CR is lower than that. So I'm thinking this is kind of an in between steel. Now this was a pretty uh, reasonably priced knife. I think it was like 20, 22. Which sorry about that. I think this is about 22 or 23 dollars. Um, so I mean you're not going to get the high grade steel. You're not going to get 20 CV or something like that on here for that price. Um, now this particular knife, along with all the other minimalist knives, was designed by a guy named Alan Foltz. And I have to tell you, he's the guy who also uh, designed the Spew, which I did a video on not long ago. And I'm really, really liking the Spew quite a bit. I carried it again today. Um, now with the Spew, um, I purchased, I um, wear that on my belt. Because the cool thing about these is that they come with... Uh, I, I'm not, it's not a Kydex sheath, but it's kind of similar to Kydex. Uh, and the sheath here has, um, I'll show you, has a uh, great retention. I'll show you this right here. And again, this was about a $23 knife, so pretty good. So as you can tell, slides right in there. So I'm shaking that pretty vigorously. Sorry about that. Um, pretty vigorously. And, uh, it's not coming out. It's not rattling. It's not shaking. It's, you know, pretty good. Um, now, whether that holds up over the time, I'm not sure, but I have a good feeling that it will. Um, the belt clip, well, it's actually not a clip. It's actually kind of a belt loop. It's it's pretty interesting. It's unlike any of the sheaths that I've received with, uh, with all the smaller fixed blade knives. Uh, it actually has a kind of a rectangle that you would... Uh, put your belt through, and then you can adjust the uh, the tightness um, on the belt, you know, using a, I believe it's a Phillips head screwdriver. So it's a pretty decent um, way to keep it on your belt. Now, this is actually a pretty light knife. Uh, just the knife alone, not with the sheath, but just the knife is 1.6 ounces. So neck carry, you, you barely even notice it's there. I've tried neck carrying some knives. And they were probably uh, an ounce or two heavier than you should for a comfortable knife carry, neck carry, excuse me. This one is really light. I wore it for a little while. My only complaint about it, and this is a really, really minor one. This has nothing to do with the knife. And it really has nothing to do with the sheath because the knife is really great, really great, especially for the low price point. Uh, the sheath is excellent. The only thing is this cord they give you. Now, this is a you know good quality cord. Nothing wrong with the cord. My only thing is I'm not a big fan of uh, the way it is. Because if you look at it, it has this, uh, it kind of has this thing over here, which I guess is supposed to kind of keep tension on this. And it does keep tension a little bit. So when you pull it through, it's got a little tension. You press this, and then it releases it a little bit. Um, now, the thing is, I guess it's kind of okay, but I don't know. I'm just 
I'm just kind of thinking of a possible like choking hazard if you got some lunatic who tries to mug you or something. They just kind of put this around your threat, your neck, because I'm thinking that the force to kind of strangle you is probably uh, the brake strength is probably higher than what it would take to strangle you. Kind of bugs me. Um, as far as this goes, I mean, I guess it would hold, but then the problem is you kind of got what looks like two little antennas, like you got like a little bug crawling on your neck. You know, it's kind of. Don't know if I really like that too much. Um, I would probably swap this out for a ball chain. Now, I guess, you know, you could probably, like, tie it down a little bit. Um, you know, make it a little bit less, um, a little bit less noticeable. But then if you do that, it's still kind of sticking up. And actually, it's not even going to do too much. And then you could still kind of, like, get caught or choke out on something. Um, that's really my only thing. I'd probably switch this out for just a regular run-of-the-mill ball chain, or if you have like a lanyard that has like a breakaway uh, clip on the back, maybe something like that. As far as this, I like the way this is designed in here because uh, it's just very, very natural to uh, to put your finger in and just your thumb in and just kind of push off there. And as you can tell, it matches up very nicely here. Really, really cool. So let's take a couple of measurements. First, you know what, we'll measure the sheath, just so you can kind of get an idea. And that sheath is to the widest point about maybe three inches, just shy of three inches. And then um, with here, we have a shade under two inches, maybe like one and seventh, eighth, eighth inches. Um, this cord uh, is roughly, let's see, I would say it's roughly maybe 40 inches long. So even if you've got a big fat head like me, you can get it over. It's not a problem. As far as the cleaver goes, we have from the handle, it's about maybe two and maybe two and a tenth inches. It's a little less than two and a quarter. So yeah, I'd probably say maybe like two and 2.2 .2 inches maybe. Um, and then the cutting area is just about two inches. <clears throat> Came sharp out of the box, which is always nice. Uh, let's see, that looks like it is probably a flat grind. Flat grind to me. Now the handle, if I remember correctly, is three inches. Yep, three inches exactly. And then we have a little lanyard on the end, um, which is about uh, maybe an inch and a half, maybe. Actually about two inches long. You know, the only two knives I have that have lanyards on them is this Minimalist and uh, the CRKT Spew. And I got to tell you, I leave them on. I kind of like them because when you get that good full hand grip, I kind of like having the lanyard back there. I guess it doesn't do too much for stability or anything, but I just like having it. And um, the handles are very comfortable. It's the scales. They are uh, they're chamfered down, so they're rounded here, so it doesn't like you have these corners sticking in you. No hot spots. And like I said, it just you know you really lock into it very very well if you're going to do any kinds of cutting. So you know even if you have big hands, I think you'll be okay. And then you can see on the back here, it's a uh, Minimalist. I should be focusing in a second. And it says right there, uh, Fultz Design. I think when I get off uh, off here making this video, I think I'm going to go check out some of Alan Fultz's uh, custom knives. Because, um, I don't know, man, he's got... I've, I've seen one or two of them, and they look pretty nice. Um, they definitely look, definitely look like they would be worth the money. Um... You know, unless they're too high, because I know sometimes the uh, the custom knives do do go for quite a bit of money, but you know these these look like they would might be worth it. And then just for a little comparison, um, we have the spew here. You might remember this from an earlier video, so you can see the the uh, difference and the similarities. Um, much shorter blade. You know, I would see this the spew is an excellent utility knife. I've used it for like utility things, just basically opening some packages. I actually needed it to open the package that the minimalist was in. 
Um, so good for opening packages, good, you know, cutting boxes and letters and all that basic front of the mill stuff. I do feel this is uh, better, like say for self-defense purposes, you know, some of you might be laughing, but you know what? I walked out today with two knives. One of them was this, it was uh, on my belt and I uh, was ready to go if I needed it. And it's in this uh, handy dandy sheath, which is very similar. If you're wondering about how the, the clip is on the minimalist, um, that's kind of how it looks. And then you can adjust it here. There are two screws and they put these like uh, these like rubber crush washers for lack of a better term. It's really not a bad setup. It's pretty cool. So I think it's something that uh, if you're not familiar with it, you'd probably enjoy and probably like. And like I said, you could put it on here also. So that works out pretty well. Um, like I said, this one was 20. This one was about 23, I believe. So what I am going to do is uh, put a link to this um, from Amazon, and that's an affiliate link. So again, like I said before, uh, if you make a purchase, uh, I get a small percentage of that, and that helps me buy these ridiculously expensive $23 knives, okay? And then just to summarize roughly, uh, three inch, three inch handle, um, two inch cutting area, about two and a quarter inch blade length in total. Um, you got about a two inch um, lanyard right here. You got five CR15 MOV steel. Um, so, you know, it might, it might dull kind of quick, but it's going to be easy to sharpen and bring back too. So that's not bad. And these finger grooves are extremely comfortable. Now, keep in mind, I, I kind of have a preference for finger grooves and whatnot, because even like when I purchase a gun, like the old, the older Glocks that have the finger grooves, I kind of like that. I know most people don't seem to like it, but I'm a fan. And as you can tell, it's three very comfortable fingers on there. And, uh, you know, like, like I said, my finger, my hands are, you know, just to kind of, just to kind of give you an idea, really, you know, just kind of how big my hands are. I mean, I think they're a little bit bigger than average. And, and even though this is, you know, a pretty small knife, I find it comfortable. And like I said, I think it's an excellent utility knife to keep around with you, um, without interfering with you. It's not like you're, you're carrying a, you know, like a Medford Praetorian, <laughs> you know, it's like, Weighting your pants down on one side. It's pretty comfortable. So that's all I got to say on that. Um, I will catch up with you later. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll catch you later.